ahead and make birria. Um, I'm gonna make it in the crock pot, but you can make it in a um, in a pot. Um, I'm gonna leave it overnight. And so you're gonna need some garlic, onion, bay leaves, salt. You're gonna need oregano, clavos, uh, cominos, and este fresh pepper. And then you're gonna need some chiles, um, some chiles guajillos. I'm gonna start by um, toasting the chile guajillos. And this is how I do it. I just do it on top of my, my stove. Um, if you don't have one of these stoves or you have like a gas stove, you can do it um, on a comal or on a, in, a, in a pan. And they toast pretty quick, so you've gotta be careful as you can see. Just takes a few seconds for, see how they rise? And so, um, takes a few seconds and then you just wanna flip them over and have them toast on the other side as well. So see, that was enough. We just kinda put them aside and do another batch. So here's another batch. Again, it takes about five to six seconds, um, pretty quick. You don't want them to burn, so then you just turn them over. So about, you know, three, see, three to four, five, six seconds. That's it, you just kind of put them aside. And yes. so I've done the last batch, and here they are. I'm gonna go ahead and take the little tupo off and put them in the blender. So I took the tupito off, and then what I do is that I don't open it and take the seeds out. I just kind of shake whatever seeds come out, and that's it. And then I just put it in the blender like that. Okay, so they're all done. I, f I filled the blender halfway with water. I added the garlic cloves, the onion. I cut the onion, the half onion. I cut it in four pieces so that it's easier to blend. Now I'm going to add the spices, all my dry spices. And... Um, the only thing that I did not add is the laurel, which um, I don't blend that, um, and you'll see what I do with it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt as well. And all these measurements I'm gonna go ahead and have on the description box. If you like for me to actually say, okay, I'm, I'm putting half an onion and two tablespoons of salt, go ahead and comment let me know what, what you think. I like to see a video, and um, when I see a video, I like to just kind of see what's happening, and then I go to the description box and go ahead and um, screenshot the ingredients and all that, and then I get that all together, and then I start, you know, um, making making the recipe so that's easier for me but if that's not easy for me let me know i can definitely um put you know as i'm going i can definitely say the amounts of what you need anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this and the main ingredient which is um beef and it is beef bottom round roast and it's about almost four pounds so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this in four pieces and we're gonna put it in the crock pot and um here is our here's our chili already okay so it's nice and cut i really didn't cut it through all the way if you can see there's like a uh a thick layer of fat um, and that's good you don't need to take the fat out that gives it flavor so I just cut it almost through and I'm gonna go ahead and put a colander there just a second let me wash my hand okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in there yeah they smell so, all these spices together it smells so good so, yum. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add more water. I'm gonna go ahead and add more water. I'm gonna add it straight to the blender cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and add about half the blender and we're gonna go ahead and just put it through like this. Okay. There we go. 
all done, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put it in its crock pot. And, oh, last step. And that last step, that last ingredient is our, our bay leaves. So our bay, there goes our bay leaves. I'm going to go ahead and cook this overnight on high. So, so for, about, you know, a good six hours. Salsa de tomatillo, cilantro, cebolla, and chile de aceite for our video.